What's up everyone? Uh, today I just want to talk about my thoughts on MK1. Uh, as someone who's played it for quite a decent amount of hours now, um, since the uh, early access release, I've beaten the story, I've cleared out all of Invasion, um, and I've played a, f a little bit of online. I'm not like amazing, obviously I'm not very good at it, but it's still fun to play. Um, this here, you can see I've cleared out all of Invasion. Um, <laughs> and I've leveled up um, my uh, certain certain characters a fair amount. Um, so I've played a lot, a lot of Raiko and uh, Shao and some Havoc. Um. But, um, I haven't played very much, uh, the main, like, Scorpion Smoke or Sub or Reptile, but I know that they're pretty good. So, I just want to talk about the game, um, and my thoughts on it. So, uh, story-wise, I actually find the story to be quite good in this game. Um, it's a lot of interesting moments. I'm just going to hop into practice here and just show you some, do some combos and stuff while talking, but... I found the story to be quite interesting, and it was uh, fun to play, and it was actually a, I would actually say for a Mortal Kombat game at least, it was a pretty decent story. Um, there was a whole lot of like, aspects that I thought were interesting, and some of the stuff that happens in it I wasn't quite expecting. Um, as for the gameplay, uh, oh no, we'll, we'll, we'll wait for the gameplay. We'll get to the invasions first. Uh, invasions was also very fun. It's very like, it can be kind of annoying at times because uh, when you're fighting enemies in the invasions, they have hyper armor sometimes. So like, for example, like you hit them and they're armored and they gl they'll glow white and they'll glow blue and that'll tell you, you know, you're supposed to attack them. Um, but, so, um, you know, it can be interesting to... Uh, uh, do sometimes because sometimes you uh, you're leveling up your character as well, so you're doing stuff where like your character's like level thirty and stuff, and you have like skill points and shit. It's very fun to do. Um. So that's that's always fun. So, uh, and then also in the in the story, um. In the, not, sorry, not sorry, in the invasions, uh, you're gonna gain rewards for online, like skins and stuff for your characters that you're playing. So, um, you'll get stuff like, um, you get stuff like, uh, a, a Reiko helmet or a Sindel skin, which make your characters look a lot better in my opinion. Uh, I dropped that. Um, make your characters look a lot better, in my opinion. They give them tattoos to make them like red. Some of them have cinders on them, like my scorpion, like the scorpion skin you're seeing right here, um, which I think is pretty cool. Let me go back out to the main menu so I can show you more of that. Um, the game felt very, uh, very smooth at the launch, which is uh, feels great for a game to lo finally launch with a uh, smooth FPS, smooth. Uh, playing and such for, at least for me uh some people may have not had the same thing but yeah so here so uh real quick here this is how like you can notice with a lot of them they all have like these cinders effects it's like the season thing and they'll all kind of like look a little bit on fire not every character has a skin for this which is a little weird but at least i haven't noticed every character has a skin for it but most do or they have tats like this um but yeah it felt very smooth felt very playable and it felt like uh like it felt like it was actually polished, which a lot of sometimes a lot of games recently have been coming out not feeling like that. But that's besides the point. Um, uh, however, though, I will say um, that some characters. This may have changed because I think a patch just dropped literally right before I got all making this video. Um, but I will say some things do to detract. Um, Certain characters right now feel very strong, like 
somewhat opp oppressively strong. Now I play Shao and Reiko. I I personally think that Reiko is kind of meh. I feel like Reiko has a really cool kit. And I played a lot of Reiko, as you can I can show you actually. Um, I played a lot of Reiko. Um, I think Reiko is kind of meh. So if we go here to the Master System, you can see my Reiko is level twenty four. My Shao is level 26. Um, I think Reiko is kind of meh. I think parts of his kit feel kind of out of place. He has one overhead and a couple low. Well, he has one overhead unless you count the jump ins, I believe. Uh, he's got a, and he's only got a few lows, and they all leave you splatted, I believe. So it's kind of eh. That's just my opinion. He's got a great projectile though, and he's got an armored wake up. that's kind of good, but I don't know. He feels kind of Reiko feels kind of. Eh, like he doesn't feel very uh, great to play. I'll be honest with you. Um, however, uh, characters like Smoke, Scorpion, and Sub Zero are, are pretty good. Sub Zero is uh, was very very good. They he got he got nerfed a little bit, so he's not as high performing as he was. Scorpion is killing it right now. He's got a, he's got great air control, like great like all of his like he can use some of his specials in the air. He's got great combos that lead into air combos, and then can hold you from touching the ground. It's kind of crazy. He's got good mix-up game as well. Smoke is like if you're looking for the character that's gonna play like a blender, like Smoke is insane. Smoke, at least from my perspective, even as a player that's kind of mad at the game, Smoke is crazy. Like. We're talking like 50-50s for days. Like sometimes like he's going for a combo and then he goes for a low that leads into a combo or he goes for a high, like an overhead. And he's got abilities that are overhead abilities and low abilities that you can combo into a like set so it, it, you can special cancel into. It's crazy. He's doing he's doing a lot of work right now. And it's it's really cool. He's doing the blender. It can be very oppressive at times because he also has some things where it's kind of hard to react to because he's sometimes he can, it seems like he's kind of plus on block on a lot of things where he shouldn't be, but it's whatever. Raiden, on the other hand, I actually, I'm going to say it, and this is my personal opinion, I think Raiden is a little overpowered right now. Um, uh, which is kind of cool, but like, it's kind of, a, it feels kind of oppressively overpowered. Um, Raiden right now, it seems like he has is like plus on block on like almost everything in his kit and then not only is he like plus on block on like everything in his kit he's got some crazy strings that chain into so like for example i'll give you an idea he's got an overhead string that leads into another overhead string that can lead into his crouching combo because whatever he's like he's a combo where he's crouched the entire time it's a little weird it's like a kick combo um but i think raiden is a little oppressive right now um Liu Kang is, uh, so I haven't seen very, I haven't seen almost any Liu Kangs when I played against one. He was kind of good. He seems like he's like a pretty, he seems like he's actually like a strong character, but like not like oppressively strong. He just feels like he's good in the right hands. Uh, Johnny in the right hands is crazy. Um, but Johnny, uh, can be kind of weak in some aspects. I don't see anybody getting hype mode. It seems like it was added into the game and then not really used, um, because. It's kind of weird to get, and you kind of like leave yourself open. So, I don't really see players using hype mode too often. But maybe that's just me, because where I'm at. Kung Lao, I've only seen one Kung Lao. But he, but he was really good. He was pulling combos off that were crazy, and he was stringing them together really well. And it seems like Kung Lao's kit just flows. Like, it's a very flow kit. It seems pretty good. Uh, like I said, Reptile is insane. Reptile's got, you get, you've probably seen it right now. If you've been like being with any combo videos, Reptile's doing some crazy shit with the force balls right now, and it's fucking hilarious. Um, Sub Zero, I think I'm talking about Sub Zero already. Li Mei, I played against a couple Li Mei's. She's got a really good armored wake up. She seems pretty good, unironically. Uh, but she seems like she su she might suffer from the same thing that like some of the characters that <clears throat> are more like seem like they want to be in your face rush on characters are suffering from, where they don't really necessarily always have the tools to deal with certain things. Effectively, like she has a ranged projectile, but um, like Reiko has a better one. But like also like any of the other characters that have, like like she's competing with like, Scorpion's got the spear, Smoke can teleport, and Sub Zero has an ice ball, and Raiden has the ability to teleport and a projectile, and so like Lee May ends up in a weird spot. Ashra, I have not played enough or watched enough Ashra. 
Uh, she seems like she's strong and writes in certain scenarios. And I saw, other than that, I can't really speak on Ash for too much. Neither can I say anything much for Natara besides the fact that I saw Super was playing her. And I've seen that she does some crazy fucking shit in air. Like, we're talking like combos where like you're flying through the sky. It's crazy. Kenshi is, is a monster. And I have, maybe this is a hot take. I don't think they should nerf Kenshi. Unless Kenshi becomes like very oppressive at times. I think Kenshi should stay where he is because I think Kenshi is a very well designed uh, character in this game. Because Kenshi actually plays in a unique way where Kenshi is like um, very player skill reliant. Um, so if you know what you're doing and like how to use Sento and like keep track of Sento's distances and timings and his bar, like the bar of Sento and how to use the clone, he ends up being a great character, like almost like better than almost a lot of the other characters. But you have to know what you're doing with them. And if you don't know what you're doing with them, then it can be, and then you can get your ass kicked real fast. Baraka in this game is fucking great. Uh, players are doing some crazy shit with Baraka. Baraka for once actually gets to be fucking good. It feels like in all the other Mortal Kombat games he's kind of eh. Uh, even in the story mode he's actually kicking ass. So Baraka is actually really cool, very good, and um, uh, doing some crazy shit with a lot of his like specials and the combos and the air combos and the like grabs that are just like annihilating health bars. <coughs> Havoc. At least for me, kind of like when I was playing him, was not didn't seem the best. However, I cannot deny the havoc is killing it. All right, I mean like legitimately, havoc is doing some crazy stuff right now. He's a juggernaut character, so if you guys are playing him and he feels a little slow, that's don't be surprised. He just it's kind of like how it is. But havoc plays very well, and he's like doing some crazy stuff with like. Limbs, obviously, because he's Havoc, and he's popping you up, getting crazy pop-ups, using crazy projectiles a lot. He, he's, he's, he seems like a very good pressure character. Now, Geras. Geras... Geras is a fucking animal if he can get up to you. He does a lot of stuff with manipulating time, manipulating time like he did in 11. Except, like, now he's, like, actually manipulating it. Like, stopping time and, like, keeping you in place. Uh, he can be very weak at a distance. But if he can get in, Gears can blow you up. Uh, it's very cool to see, uh, like Gears plays and like you're summoning clones, summoning walls, doing all sorts of stuff, manipulating time, stopping time, keeping freezing players in place and stuff. It's great. Uh, I've played against one katana. Um, katana seems very good, and she's pretty much like she was apparently like man the beta, but she was competing with some of the other characters that were a little. Or for her to compete with, but like Katana seems like you don't outzone her unless you're like, unless you're like Shang Tsung, uh, and she's like very dominant in the air, and she's got a lot of traps where like she can set you up in a weird way, like in a way where you're gonna get hit either way. Seems, seems very strong. Uh, Shang Tsung is very good, especially in the right hands. He's got combos where he's swapping the aids, he's taking control of your character, he's. He's, he's not taking control of your character, but becoming your character like one, and like doing more damage and like it's wild. Like players that know how to play every character in the game and know how to play Shang Tsung will be absolute menaces on this character. And he's got combos where he's like age switching and then like like doing 43% on you. It's crazy. Uh, Melina is uh, unironically very good right now. Very, very, very good right now. She's playing and she's doing crazy flips. She's teleporting around. She's knocking you up. She's keeping you going. She's got combos with cameos that are berserk. She's just doing wild things. Uh, it's very cool to see Melina uh, being strong. And not only being strong, but being like uh, just teleporting around the stage, doing all sorts of wild stuff with these combos. And she's just very effective. General Shao feels great. Um, I'm not, like, noticing a whole lot of, like, combo variety, but that might just be because the game hasn't been out for very long. But, like, a lot of it seems to lead in the same thing where you want to lead into your Devastator, which is your knee. And then you want to, so, like, you would generally want to hit them with at least a 1-2, or if you don't play on, like, if you play on the other stuff, it's, like, a square or X, and then Y or triangle. You want to with your 1-2, uh, and then your, then your 2-2, two -two, and then you want to do your Devastator into your slam, into your tutu, into your grabs, onto the, and then your tree topper, which puts them on the axe. Tree chopper, which puts them on the axe. Uh, which is a lot of ways to what you want to do. Some of it varies depending if, if you're trying to like mix up, so you want to put the axe down, use them on the, like use your base kit on the ground, like while you're fighting the person, and then you know, 
There's some mix up potential. He's very, he's, he seems pretty good. He doesn't seem very bad. He doesn't seem very strong. And just like really overpowered, but he seems like pretty good. Uh, Sindel. I've not seen a single seen a single Sindel. I've not played against a single Sindel. Is what I'm saying. I've barely even seen her on YouTube. She apparently won a tournament, I believe. Or was in one. Or was in one at one point. Sorry. Um, but she uh. She seems pretty good. I played a little bit of the story mode. She seemed rather strong. Don't really get her like cameo thing where she's doing where she's like manipulating cameos. But like her kit itself seems pretty good. She's actually fairly decent at zoning. Um, so interesting fact for her. Uh, Tanya. Uh, I have not seen a single Tanya, nor have I played against Tanya, nor have I played as Tanya. So I can't talk about this character really. Uh, she's doing some weird stuff. Uh, the, from the bots I played against, because I think they have played against bots, they didn't really fight up, fight very much, and they were just like, I don't know, I guess like, putting some, putting some weird something down and landing, and then I was just like, I don't know, it didn't seem that great, but I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if she's bad, I don't know if she's good. Rain on the other hand, um, I've also not seen any of. Actually, like, almost none at all, I don't think I saw him very much, even in Invasion. Um, I don't know what Rain's doing. He seems like a zoner from what they showed off of Rain, but I have no clue at all what Rain is going to be doing. Rain is, um, very much unknown to me. Him and Tanya. I, I don't see these characters, and I, I don't I don't know what's going on. Reiko. I've played a lot of Reiko, so I have, I have some varied opinions on him. Probably maybe some hot takes. I think Reiko is very, actually, underpowered. I think Reiko could use some buffs. Um, I don't have any overheads, and when I do have an overhead, it leaves them splatted. I don't have very many lows. I have a, a bunch of low abilities, which is, I guess, where I don't have low attacks. But, like, uh, sometimes, I don't know. It just feels like Reiko doesn't really have uh, a whole lot in his kit sometimes. So, I don't know. It just feels like Reiko can sometimes be pushed away, and there's much a whole lot of Reiko can do against certain characters, especially right now. Um... But it, uh, it's very depressing because I actually think the character's fun. I think this playstyle can be kind of fun with the grappler. Uh, but it feels like you don't have a whole lot of uh, options. Um, like even with things, a lot of times your combos are like maybe you're you're raid, so it's like you're one two, or you're you're doing four one two uh, four one two four into a I do like into a a three four into the into the in the slot like the slide tackle where I put them on the ground and punch them. But you can also do the, the slide, like the amp slide into the slide, tank, like into another kick into the slide catch. But even then, I don't think it's doing crazy damage like this other character's doing. Uh, but the game feels great. It's very fun to play. The cameo system, I don't even want to go into this. There's a lot of them. It's right now, to, right now, at least when I was playing them, something's changed on this patch. It's just basically spam out Serena. Because uh, she's the best. Um. But, yeah guys, that's all, I, that's all I really got. It's a whole lot of fun playing this uh, game. I've been really enjoying it. I, rather, I highly recommend you get into it. Uh, take the time to see what's going on. And, uh, yeah guys, I'll see you guys uh, next time. And with more World Combat. But yeah guys, I hope you guys have a nice night. Have a nice day, whatever time you see this. And, uh, see you everyone.